Good morning, everyone. Thank you all for joining us uh, this morning. Uh, we have a very exciting keynote now, and um, it's all about uh, social media for social good. Uh, I'd like to invite to the stage uh, Luciano Huck, uh, TV host and pres president of Instituto Criar, uh, Pete Cashmore, founder and CEO of Mashable, and Ronaldo Lemos. He's the co-creator of Overmundo and the uh, director of uh, the Center for Technology and Society at Fundação Getúlio Vargas. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, it's really a pleasure to be here uh, in this beautiful morning. Unfortunately, we are inside the hotel, not being able to enjoy the day outside. But it's great to have you both here. And I look forward to a nice conversation. So I have a few questions for you. Uh, uh, the first set of questions will be for both. And then in the end, we will ask like probably one specific question for each. If you can keep the, the answer short, we have only uh, 25 minutes. So the first thing I would like to ask uh, is what is the most innovative thing that you've been doing as part of your work? So basically, tell us a little bit about the work you've been doing and what do you think is really the most innovative thing that we should be paying attention to? Uh, well, so, so for those who don't know, um, I founded uh, Mashable, which is an uh, online magazine covering everything that's happening in technology and social media. It's about 20 million uh, readers a month. Um, and we're all about how innovation is changing everything. It's changing every industry. We're in the middle of the information revolution, and uh, it's really revolutionizing every industry. So we really cover that. How does it change your life? How can you use these tools in your own life? How can you use it in your business? And how can you use it to, to make the world a better place? So some of the really innovative things we do at Mashable and perhaps the, the core innovation that, that we've really uh, worked on is, you know, we're all about this, uh, you know, we have this big community team at Mashable that goes out in the social networks, finds out, you know, what do people mm -hmm. want us to talk about, creating that feedback loop. So a lot of our stories come from the social networks. Um, but also, we get a huge amount of reach on social networks because we really try and engage the audience, and our audience is really our marketing. You know, we don't spend anything on marketing, but all our reach is about people retweeting, resharing on Facebook. Um, so it's really about that connection with the audience and, and having an audience that's really engaged. That's great. Luciano. In English. It's whatever you like. Ooh. They told me to speak in English, but I think you're free. Okay, no. I've, I was thinking about speaking in Portuguese, but let's try. Sorry, I missed some cl English classes. Uh, <laughs> but uh, as you don't have any translation, I, I think your Portuguese is not good enough, Pete. Your yet. English is probably better than my okay. Portuguese. Uh, <laughs> basically, what I think I'm doing on this stage uh, in this morning, uh, I have a big window that is my TV show in Brazil. Mm -hmm. And I also uh, very curious about social networks and been using this tool a lot to help me find people around Brazil for the TV show and how to get connected with them. Mm -hmm. And the biggest... Como é que fala protagonista? Protagonist. The biggest protagonist of my, my TV show is ordinary people. So the people that are on the social networks, mm -hmm. are on the internet and write letters and all the stuff. And so I do this to try to inspire people with their own stories. So I've been traveling all over Brazil in a very special time life of Brazilian history that it's, everything is changing a lot and trying to find examples that can inspire people uh, using this big window that is the, the TV show. Yeah, that's great. So one thing that is maybe sometimes not obvious to people is the connection between media and information and sustainability. And you both work uh, with both traditional media and new media. And it would be great uh, to hear what is your take 
for instance, regarding the role of information for shared responsibility, for improving social choices? What do you think is the role of media and information for that? So I think, you know, social media for us is all about empowerment, right? If mm -hmm. people want to change something, they often feel disempowered, especially with very big problems. And we've seen with social media, especially in 2011, where people have said, you know, they really, you know, when they've been unhappy about the situation in their own countries, they've been able to unite. And in, in many cases, you know, there's been revolutions happening as a result of social media. And I think, um, you know, in the sustainability question, it's, it's kind of the same thing. We can feel a bit powerless. We look at the size and the scale of these issues. Um, global climate change is such a massive thing to tackle. We look at what's happening at, at this conference and we say, wow, we, we really don't feel like there's enough progress being made. And, you know, something like social media lets us all come together to feel like we're part of a larger movement and, you know, makes the individual feel like we can actually make a difference because we can see that millions of other people are doing it too. Mm -hmm. And more than that, I think that the sustainabil sustainability, uh, yes, it uh, uh, is the uh, is a issue that put everybody together in the same page, and the social networks, uh, everyone can feel that can be part of it and try try to trans transform something, and uh, Brazil, I have a Pete have a relationship with the 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 social networks social media all over the world. I specifically in Brazil. And I think Brazil have a, a very special char the, the characteristic that the people here uh, are very effective and very social. Uh, that's why I think uh, Orkut that became something only in, in Brazil and Facebook and Twitter are so strong here. Uh, the people are using the social networks as part of their, their like, like they speak, they are writing, they're being part of all this transformation. Mm -hmm. That sounds great. And actually, you both are celebrities, not only in the traditional media, but also in new media. I think Luciano has five million followers on Twitter. You should be about like three million or something, yeah. mashable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that, that is a great thing. 